Welcome back to Cooking with B. On today's episode, we're going to be doing one of my mother-in-law's famous recipes. It's called chicken pear salad. What's chicken pear salad? Come back and find out. Thanks again for joining me. So chicken pear salad is chicken that will have a breadcrumb topping with a little bit of parsley that's cooked in olive oil and butter. So that's simply what chicken pear salad is. It's also known as a gramolata as well. So the ingredients today for the chicken pear salad are, we've got a loaf of French bread. We've got a little bit of our salt and pepper mix. We have some honey, some crushed garlic, We've gone ahead and cutleted up some chicken breast. We've got some unsalted butter. We've got yellow mustard, some good olive oil. We're gonna spray our cookie sheet and foil with Pam. And then we've got some fresh parsley that we've gone ahead and washed. So those are today's ingredients. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just quickly just rough cut the French loaf. We're actually gonna you put it into our processor. If you don't have a processor, you can always use a blender as well. And we're gonna pulse this just to get, um, not a breadcrumb consistency, but just a chunky, crunchy, coarse consistency. So I've got about half of the loaf in there. Gonna add a little bit of the parsley with each batch so that I can chop it up as well. It's been so long, I don't know how to use this thing anymore. All right. So as you can see, I've got my first batch done. You don't wanna overload your processor because then it'll just turn into a sticky ball of mess and that's not what you want. So I'm just gonna transfer this to my bowl and keep on going. See you back in a few. So this is what the finished product's going to look like. Um, you can either use dried parsley. Um, I was at the grocery store, so I picked up fresh while I was there. So the next part of the recipe, we're gonna have to go in ahead and toast up the um, new breadcrumbs. So we're gonna do so in olive oil, garlic, and butter. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our um, couple tablespoons of butter in the pan, if they'll cooperate. Boop. And a couple swirls of olive oil. And all of this is gonna add a great flavor. We're going ahead and um, we'll put our garlic in at the end so that the flavor's all fresh. Get that oil distributed throughout the pan a little bit. So we've got the pan on a medium heat, and then we'll go from there and see. So I'm gonna get as much as I can in the pan, because we don't wanna overcrowd. That took a few minutes just to get everything nice and toasty. Um, had to add a little bit more olive oil and another pat of butter to finish it off. Um, noticed that it needed a little zhuzh, so I gave it a couple dashes of onion powder and garlic powder and a few um, squeezes of the garlic paste, which adds a nice fresh flavor to everything. Um, the smell of olive oil and garlic. I don't think it gets much better than that. So now we're gonna get to assembling the dish. All right, so let's start assembling. We've gone ahead and turned on our oven to 375 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and heat that up while we're getting everything else assembled. So what I've got here 
is a cookie sheet that I've gone ahead and lined with foil. I'm gonna go ahead and take some cooking spray. Go through all this hard work. You don't want anything sticking. Give that a nice coat. As mentioned, we went ahead and took our chicken breasts and just sliced those in half lengthwise. So we got some nice cutlets. Definitely get one more on here. All right, so four, eight, 10 chicken breasts fit onto one cookie sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and take our lovely old salt and pepper mix. Give each chicken breast a sprinkle. Now, you have two options. One, my mother-in-law always used yellow mustard. My husband did not like yellow mustard as a child, so she started using honey. So you have your options. We love both, so I'm gonna go ahead and do half and half. So now you're just gonna take whichever one you choose, honey or mustard, and just give each breast a sprinkle. And then what will happen is the breadcrumbs now have something to adhere to. Just a thin, thin coating. You don't want it to impact the flavor too, too much. You just want something for it to stick to. And last one, honey. I guess what you could do is you could mix it up and do honey and mustard. All right, so now we're just gonna take and sprinkle those beautiful breadcrumbs on top. Give it a little tap tap so they adhere. Boop, boop, boop. Make sure you have good coverage everywhere. So there you go. Now that's ready to go into the oven for 375 for about 20 minutes. When you're doing your chicken breast, you're gonna wanna make sure that they're all the same thickness so that they cook at the same rate. Again, 375 for 20 minutes. We're gonna pop that in the oven and see you back here in a minute. All right, so the chicken's been in the oven for about 20 minutes at 375 degrees. I've gone ahead and used my Instarade thermometer, made sure that they were good, and they are done. So we're gonna go ahead and put one on a plate and do our taste test. How great do those look? Everything is nice and toasty and the chicken is still moist. Let's go ahead and taste test. All right, let's go ahead and taste that chicken. Make sure you get a nice good bite with the toasted breadcrumbs on top and look at that chicken. Oh. Just like my mother-in-law's bringing back a whole lot of memory. Mm. I apologize, that was a big bite. So that was the honey one. And you don't get a lot of the honey per se, you just get a little bit of sweetness. So whether you go with the mustard or with the honey, either way, I think it's a winner. So thanks again for joining me. If you're new to the channel, if you're new to the channel, if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Be well.